So hey guys, um, I had to make a small cut right here. I'm going to try and make it as seamless as possible. But I had a couple recording problems during this fight. So I've done this fight already, but I got to do it again because my recorder messed up. So let's keep going. Up ahead is a pain in the ass. Someone who's been following us for quite a while. You know how I hate waiting, Yuri Lowell. And where do you think you're going with me right here? You're alive. Don't you ever die? You just never quit. How many times do I have to tell you? I don't want anything to do with you. You're trying to save the world? <laughs> well, the world will go bye-bye if you don't hurry, is that it? If you know that much, then don't get in our way. Oh, no, 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 no! That's what gives it so much meaning! What's this guy talking about? Look! There's a seal further on. If you want to get by, you have to take this arm from my body. You bastard! <laughs> Yuri! If you want to save the world, then you have to go through me! Why? Why are you doing something so meaningless? 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 Oh, but it does mean something. This way, you'll fight with everything you've got. Zoggy, I never thought you were this crazy. Fine. Let's finish this. <laughs> Show me your anger, your rage! Give me everything you've got! Because if you don't, you won't get any higher! It's time to finally rid the world of this nutcase. <laughs> die, 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 die! Just drop it already! <laughs> I will hunt you down until you're dead. You're dying first. <laughs> yeah, keep talking while you still can. And you shut up! Yeah! Come on! Give me everything you've got! We finished this now! And finally the fight, the final fight, is Zoggy begins. Ah, oh, this guy is uh he has a lot of HP. I'm just gonna magic cleanse him right now. He has around 400,000 HP. We've already taken off a hundred thousand. So he's not that bad, honestly. Um, he's not too powerful in the way of his attacks, but he has a lot of HP. And we gotta take care of that. Being as high-leveled as I am, uh, this fight isn't that bad. Because um, I do so much damage, so I should be okay. I feel kind of bad because... I leveled up so much for a different boss, so it kind of makes this one kind of a joke, but that's what happens sometimes. Oh! Probably one of my favorite Mystic Arts of the game, just because his voice is really awesome. <laughs> I really love the way he says, Welcome to the Hornet's Nest! It's really great. You know, there was a time where I was like really convinced that Zoggy was voiced by Vic Mignogna, but he's not. I actually kind of forgot who he is voiced by, but he's not voiced by Vic Mignogna. So we're at 133,000. We're doing pretty good. I'm waiting a little bit before I do my Mystic Art. I missed. But yeah, uh, if you watch his, if you like look at the damage he does, he really isn't that tough. Um, especially where I'm at right now, so. Um, okay, you know what? I think we're, I think we're good. Going all the way. That's it. 
I'll cut down any enemy who gets in our way. Don't get in my way anymore, Zoggy. It's over. That's the end of Zoggy. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get his uh, secret mission. Um, I believe it's after he does his Mystic Art, his arm will start fucking up. So, um, all you have to do is hit him. And that's about it. It's over. Finish that one. Perfect. <laughs> it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt at all. <laughs> I can't move. What a weak body. I should change my next body to a Brastia, too. That would be more fun. Right, Yuri? Do it in hell. No one understood him, so he put so much meaning on fighting. Poor thing. Still, his skills made him pretty famous. Something happened after he met you all. He really looked like he enjoyed fighting. Maybe he thought that he could let loose with everything when he fought Yuri. So Yuri was the only person he could do that with? What do I care about somebody that crazy? The downfall of someone with too much power. <sighs> We've wasted too much time on this. Let's go. Judy? Okay, okay, got it. Did something happen to Baul? No, he's fine. I was just asking what it was like outside. How far along is the life-absorbing formula? Baul doesn't know anything about formulas. Yeah, I guess you're right. I told Baul to move around as he saw fit. We should move along too, right? Yeah, let's hurry! And that, my friends, is the end of Zagi. I don't pity him, because <laughs> he was a nutcase. And here, we get an effecty ring. So I'll have to check what that is, but... Zoggy's end. Zoggy was hopeless. Yeah, just think of all the things he could have done with all that energy. He finally found his equal, but the guy turned out to be his enemy. That's the saddest part of all this for him. Huh? Duke lost his friend and equal. Alexei never believed his equal even existed. Then there's Zaki. The strong need strong friends to keep their power from distorting them. You think that's it? Take the Dom. He had his equal in Bellius, right? Raven, sometimes what you say goes right over my head. What? Are you making fun of my elegant, poetic comments? <laughs> you guys will be fine, though. You got plenty of friends. Yeah. Power can make people go crazy if they don't have other people keeping them in check. So, kind of makes sense. For now, we just gotta keep moving. Soggy is gone, and can't really do anything about it now. So, in here we get a limit bottle. Let's go. Do I feel sorry for Zoggy? Not really. I didn't really care for him that much. He's kind of a nutcase. <laughs> but, you know, it was always kind of kind of fun to see him every now and then. I like reoccurring enemies, so... Personally, I, I, I thought it was fun every time he showed up. But in here we get Calibolg. Yes. <laughs> is that for me? I guess we could just... Yeah, it is. Cool. Um, lowers agility, but gives a lot of P attack, and it's also high ability plus, which uh, is a really good skill for combining arts, but I'm not really that good at it, but let's put it on anyway. So we got a new weapon for Yuri, which is good. Um, that fight is pretty much the halfway point of this place, and considering we have to get the Fell Arms, 
probably more like a third, <laughs> which is fun. But Zoggy Part 2. Zoggy was about as annoying as they come, but I feel sort of sorry for him. Oh, that's surprising. I thought he was a huh, idiot kind of person. That is not what I sound like. I stand corrected. When you can do something better than anyone else, you wind up feeling like something's missing. The other researchers would go on and on about something I'd discovered, like, two months before. And I'd start to feel like talking with them was... pointless. So, you think Zoggy was the same way? I just got the feeling that we might have had something in common, that's all. But why am I telling you this? Just forget it. I'm sorry, but I have a good memory. Well then, keep it a secret, alright? <laughs> it's a deal. You know, I feel like they have a lot of conversations like that, where it's, where Rita's just like, Keep it a secret, okay? <laughs> Energy wand in here. Gee, I wonder who that's for. Oh, there it is. Um, not that great, but the Emma tag is more, is what I'm concerned about, so... That's good. Um, yeah, I just feel like Rita and Judith, Judith has, have like a, a secret relationship. Like, a secret friendship. Which is kind of, you know, sweet in its own right. So, I really like that. I um, got a door there that's opened. Doesn't look like there's anything down there. And I think that's all we can do. Just go through that door. Which is good. Oh, god damn it. I knew I should have gone the other way. I guess I can fight. Oh, well. That's fine. Take it up. Hey, come on! I can do even better than this. All right. Well, leveling up already. Um, I have a lot more money now. Also, I should probably say from grinding. So I have like six hundred thousand gold. Um, if you uh, actually get up to like 900,000 I think um which is certainly doable um considering the way that I grinded um I got money really really quickly so it's definitely doable if you get like 900,000 gold you can uh go to the spa in this world and you'll get the um um some costumes which is pretty cool but now we've entered the third part, third and final part of this dungeon. We're actually getting to the end, but it's not the end for us, unfortunately. But if we go off this way, we can uh, start moving through this place. Um, a lot of this place is... Um, limit bottle. Uh, sorcerer ring heavy. So we're going to just be doing a lot of biddy, biggie bam boom bop with the sorcerer's ring. So, I'm going to be trying to sneak past monsters as best as I can. I think I have to fight this guy. Fight like I'm going to die, huh? <laughs> 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 Um, I, I just realized something that's really bothering me now. Um, somehow, my mode got set to manual. I actually prefer semi-auto, honestly, just because, just so I don't have to focus on running to the, towards the enemy. So, I'll just leave it on manual, or semi-auto. I prefer manual in, um, in Zillia, but... For now, I actually really prefer semi-auto in this game. I mean, it doesn't... It's not a huge difference between the games, but I don't know. I just like not having to run towards the enemy. And I started to realize, like, this is weird. I'm not running. So... Okay. Um, I wanted to do something. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and switch up Raven for Judith. Because we haven't used her in a while. So... 
she probably has arts that she wants to learn. But with all that done, on this side, let's just go ahead and hit this one. Um, you want to go on the left side first because it'll ultimately end up in a dead end. So, and here we get a special gel, which is pretty goddamn good. Um, like, you know what? The only part, the only thing I don't like about this particular place is there's no music. It's very creepy in that sense. So, it's a little scary. You're just covered in monsters and there's just like no music. So, it's a little, a little foreboding, I guess. For what's to come. Oh. Oh, got a bunch of stuff in there. I should probably use some of the items that I have. Um, definitely some pineapple gels. Boom. Feeling good with that. Not feeling good with this, though, because... Oh, well. I'll leave those there. Thankfully, they let you pick up, like, a certain amount, and not just all of it at once. So that's good. Now, I think these holy bottles lasted me throughout the dungeon. Too bad I'm not done. Because I gotta get the fell arms. That's okay. Here, we get some panacea bottles. But I'm full on those, so that's okay. Look at this fucking turtle with the cannon! God damn, that's crazy. That's some crazy shit. Now, if you go uh, to the left, there's a pathway. It goes around to the same pathway we were on before. But we will need to go back there, I think, for a chest. Maybe. Back here, we get a rune jacket. Which I think is either for Estelle or Raven. Uh, she actually has it on already. That means he probably has it too, yes. So we're fine. Now doing that um, actually opens up a thing, I believe. So we can walk back to the other side and probably get a chest. Hopefully, maybe. Actually, I think we have to because that side, that pathway is actually closed. Didn't know that. Um, there it is. Uh, over here. This little place right here. And here we get some miracle gels, which are really, really freaking good. And that should open the middle path. Honestly, we're pretty much done with this place. That's all there is to it. Um, I know in my first playthrough, I actually grinded here. Um, you can get some good experience here. I don't think it's as good as... Let's let's start, let's check it out actually. Um, I don't think it's as good as where I grinded earlier, but but we'll find out, I guess. The sign of victory. No, you don't get as much. You can get some really good items though, so why not? You know? Why is this closed off? Okay, well I know I opened something, so I, I just have to find it. I don't really know. I think it might be over here again. Yeah, it's probably right there. This pathway. Here we get an Empress dress, which I think is for Rita. Yep, it's good, good. There's a thing back here, actually. I barely saw it, but it's definitely back there. That should open up the middle path, and we should be done with this uh, this entire dungeon, actually. So this final path right here is actually pretty easy to get past, but we're not done yet. So up here, 
Just gotta hit these, and we should be good. Um, this coming part is actually one of my favorite things about this game, and is actually like... I think this game does it best. Honestly, out of the Tales games. I love this feature. Oh, okay. 